What is going on YouTube? Gia17 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys another uh, RTS game called Total Conquest uh, which you can download this game right now on the App Store. It is free of course. Uh, now I'll, I know a lot of you guys might be looking at this game thinking it looks an awful lot like uh, Clash of Clans and uh, you would not be wrong in thinking that. Uh, obviously uh, Clash of Clans is a very popular game and a lot of companies try to copy that. Uh, it's not a very uncommon thing to see on the App Store. Uh, but personally, I find this game to be more enjoyable and easier to get into than Clash of Clans, mainly because you get things done a lot quicker and you gather resources a lot faster than you would in uh, Clash of Clans. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some tips on how to be better at this game. Now one of the first things you want to do in this game when you first start off is you want to upgrade your resources as much as possible and as often as possible. Uh, your resource buildings are your villas and your farms, as you can see. I'm going to show you right here. There you go. Farm, level 6, and your villa, level 7. Uh, you want to upgrade those buildings as much as possible. Obviously, those are the current levels of those buildings. And you also want to upgrade your uh, defenses as much as possible. Like As you can see here, Archer Lookout and... Uh, the Cloudbuster and Tormenta. Yeah, those are the basic uh, def uh, defense buildings. You want to upgrade those as often as you can in order to better protect your base against uh, attacks. And you also have your Billistas as well. Uh, let's see. And, you, and for units, uh, you, you also want to be... Uh, the primary units you want to be training basically is the archers. The archers are the most overpowered game, uh, units in this game, uh, mainly because uh, of their rate of fire and the amount of damage that they do. Uh, so basically, let me just demonstrate that. Uh, let me just try and see if I could find a match here, see if it works. Uh, let's looking for an opponent. Uh... Let's see if it's going to find somebody. Uh, nope, it's taking too long. Alright, let's go to the campaign. Uh, let's finish this uh, mission up. I'm going to show you guys uh, just how overpowered the archers are. And some strategies on how to uh, deploy them effectively so that you uh, take minimal losses. Alright, so here you have an enemy base. And I'll show you some uh, strategies here on how to uh, deploy, use your archers effectively. So basically what you want to do is you want to deploy them uh, a few at a time. You don't want to bunch them up because if you bunch them up then they're going to be a lot easier to kill. So I guess you can see here they're doing a number on the enemy's defenses and whenever you use a unit, uh, whenever you lose the unit you want to uh, uh, try and replace them. You don't want to use up all your units right away because then they're going to get wiped out pretty easily. So you just want to focus on one area of the base, see how far you get. And then as you get deeper into the base, you want to uh, start picking off the defenses little by little. You don't want to use up all your units. You just want to hold on to them. As you can see, I have 40 units still in reserve. I only have 7 units out on the field right now. So as you can see, we're getting into the base. Uh, you see that catapult's going to do some damage. So I want to deploy a few units to deal with that. As you can see, he has a defense... Uh, a defensive structure that deploys uh, enemy units. As you can see, my archers took uh, made short work of that. So you want to just basically use these guys as a distraction to keep the 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 more damaging defenses uh, occupied while your main units uh, take care of some business. Want to deal? As you can see, you just you don't want to bunch these units up. You want to spread them out because if you bunch them up, then those catapults are going to be able to take out your uh, your uh, forces a lot easier. So basically, this is what you want to do. You want to just little by little go after the defenses and uh, whittle them down so you get at the resources. And as you can see, I'm getting deeper and deeper into the enemy base, uh, taking a lot of resources, uh, dealing with the defenses. As you can see, you want to spread them out. It's a very good strategy, and you can pretty much take down almost anybody using the strategy because, as you can see, the archers are clearly... A highly overpowered unit and you would definitely want to primarily use these as uh, your primary offensive uh, units because uh, 
because the amount of damage they do and the amount of uh, the rate of fire that they have is very, very good in this game. So yeah, that's pretty much showing uh, just how uh, overpowered the uh, the archer units are in this game. You you would definitely want to use them as your primary attacking units in this game. Uh, you definitely for a uh, base defense. Uh, you definitely want to have all your uh, resource buildings close uh, behind your uh, your uh, defensive units, uh, such as your archer towers and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that's basically all I have for this video, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave the, the questions down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.